and welcome to my YouTube channel. So I'm going to be going through different aspects of the index and the book that I want to be hopefully published in the years to come. But at the moment I can't afford it so I want to put it, give it to you, the information for you through YouTube as much as I can to help and to show people how important set spawn is for me really important and I'm so passionate about I'll be passing on my knowledge and about the situations I've been in and I've used it and you see what works and what doesn't work and, and there's a lot that goes into it a lot so I want to talk about assessing the situation and getting uh, approached by an attacker so getting approached by an attacker or attackers or opponents you have to think to yourself who are you with are you by yourself are you with a partner are you with a friend do you push them behind you you know so when you're dealing with them first thing you need to do in any situation is take a step back in a loose sort of L stance so you're nice and comfortable Rich, distributed, lovely. You get your hands up. Always have your hands up. This is really important that you have your palms facing outwards. Yeah, so this is classed as a non aggressive stance. Very important. First thing you do, step back, hands up. So even if in the class or club you get your students, like yourself, get used to make it become an in instinct that if somebody aggressive, they come in front of you, you step behind. Never full facing. It's really important you, you don't do full facing because you'll be pushed and then you can fall bang your head. So you always step back so you've got good equilibrium and your hands up. The reason I'm saying palms up because as soon as you change it to a fist then you could be looked at clusters as being an aggressor. And with this day and age now people won't help you. It's, it's, a, it's a horrible world that we live in unfortunately in some places. And they won't come and help you, they'd rather get a camera out or the phone and record you for the channel or to show people. They won't come and help you if you're getting kicked or punched all over. So it's important you put your hands up. So if the police, you don't get the police coming, you know, for instance, you have to go to court or explain yourself. Most footage, most footage, or most cameras that record are on sound, so it's known your surroundings. Where are you yet? And knowing that of you using the palms, you can still talk to them. You can say whatever you want. You can be saying nasty things to them. You can be saying be nice to them, keeping them, telling them to calm down. But it also helps you when you keep your distance, keep that front hand as your distance. Don't let them get, never get the attacker get too close. So when the police do check the footage, you can say, oh well, you, you didn't have your hand up. You weren't aggressive. Yeah, it was the other guy. So, as soon as, another reason you step back for, there's a lot of, well, a few reasons, yeah. One, just get the equilibrium right, hands up, and to assess your situation. Same again, you always look, look, look at the eyes, never look away from them, always look at his eyes. But the point, the point where you can see all of them, so you get used to peripheral view. So you can, I can, look, you can look at somebody's eyes and still see their feet, their hands, their shoulders, so you can see everything. Even though you need to take a little bit further step back, you have to get that comfort zone of distance is really important. So it's part of getting used to distance so you can see every the whole of the body. So you get used to reading reading them as, you step, as soon as you step forward, you can attack. Yeah. And also are you, you need to know where you are. Are you in a pub? Are you in a toilet? You've got to know your surroundings. Where's the exit? Also, how many opponents have you got in front of you? Have you got one? Have you got two? Have you got three? You know, how many have you got? So you know you're right. What what can I do in this situation? So it gives you a little bit of time to think and then step back. Of right, where am I? How many is there? Right, what am I going to do? And that's another thing that's it's sad about today. This world, you have to be so careful. So you want to be able to explain yourself. So you can say, well, this is what I've done. So you wouldn't just go out and knock somebody clean out. Burst the lip or punch, punch your nose because then you will explain yourself. Why did you do that for? Oh well, I just punched him. Oh, you, you can do a preemptive strike, but I'll talk about that another time. But so don't 
the second can seem the second can be a long seem dead quick but in the fight it seem long so doing three steps forward push him first you, you've got to get used to it's really good because you can use a palm with the palm yeah you do a lot of damage with it but also it's, it's a non lethal weapon yeah so people don't class it as a lethal weapon but it can do so much damage to it yeah you can go for the face the cheekbone the jaw yeah the nose the ears there's a lot you can, a lot of vital spots on the face that you can go for that's very effective but also you want to push away from it so you where you gonna remember it's like the old saying an eye for an eye if he's coming at you full force aggressively is he on drink is he on drugs and that's what i'll go into uh, further on so you've got to know are you, how hard to hit him or to push him off first give him a warning first see right here i want you out the way please uh, just move away keep that, keep that distance always keep that distance in front of you with you very important keep the distance your space and then of the <coughs> pardon me thinking what am i going to do so it's like you give a chess with three moves ahead i always say so you want to know what you're going to do where you're going to go for and what the outcome is so you have to be very careful on the outcome of what you're going to do because you've got to be able to self-explain yourself to the police or to the courts why you've done this for and what reasons so you, you, yeah, it's it's hard. You have to think before attacking somebody, because you can end up being the it can end up turning on you, and you could be the one getting done. But you shouldn't use that much force. You, you know what you were doing. You've hit him there, and you've, this is what's happened. So you just have to be very careful. And yeah, I see how many people won't help you. I'll just get the cameras out, and oh, especially bystanders. Bystanders are really terrible. They say, oh well, he just smacked him. Yeah, but did he? They didn't. They never see the. What, what started it so that's why you, safety is really important you, you have to look after yourself and your partner or friends or whoever you're with you want to be able to get home nice and safe so self-defense is also mean you could mean like to keep safe to get to get home so if you don't have to fight if you can talk your way out of it and walk away go away and another thing as well what i say really bad in is if you're dealing with a situation You've de-escalated it, you've calmed them down, you said, right mate, I don't want to fight you, I just, I just want to go home, I just want to, yeah, I just want to leave or whatever. Never turn your back on them. Always take a few spaces back, three or four steps, five if you have to. Then when you come to a comfortable distance, you know you're safe, then turn. Don't just turn. I see a lot of people dealing with a fight and then turning around, and you, you're asking for it. People are opportunists, so if you turn around, they're going to smack you in the face from behind. Yeah, they'll, they'll do it. Yeah. So don't give them that opportunity. Always take a few steps back first to your safe, comfortable distance. You know where you are, and then turn. So safety is really important. Yeah, if you can get away with not fighting, go and fight. Yeah, doesn't mean you're a coward. It means you're clever. And a lot of people think, oh, he's a coward. And he didn't fight. You didn't have to fight. What? Why do you want to fight for? You shouldn't have to fight. But unfortunately, there's certain you have to. So that's the last resort yeah i don't want to mumble on too much today because there's a lot i want to go through for the next few weeks months years i want to try and do this my I mean, the reason behind everything this channel is to help people i don't want to tell instructors or students what to do that have to do this and have to do that i don't want them taking it as light art i want them to take all this information and if they can use it use it but if they can't on but try and keep but when you are talking something try and keep calm i know it's hard sometimes but try and keep as calm as possible so you keep your you want to be threat you know you should talk to them lovely yeah if you if you try to belittle somebody then you'll start the, the, the argument over and make it more aggressive and then you want to attack you but if you can just say yeah mate just, just speak not just be on his level yeah, just be nice and it can go a long way so i'd like to thank you very much for today's lesson and i hope it's been helpful or you know no of the bad comments please keep them to yourself and if i can help you in any way send us a message 
and I'll help you, and that's what I'm here for to help. So thank you very much. See you later.